Welcome back to Adobe Creators Tribe. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best export settings for your Instagram photos from Adobe Lightroom. Let's get straight into it. So once you've finished editing your photo, we're going to head up to File and Export. Now, if you watch this video all the way to the end, I'll show you how to create your very own Instagram preset so that you can just click on that and save so much time in exporting your Instagram photos. Once you've done it, you can just select it and it's gonna use it. I'm gonna show you how to create it first. So the first thing we want to do, we want to make sure that under file settings, we have our image format set to JPEG and our color space to sRGB. And then we want to untick limit file size, keep our quality at 100. And then under image sizing, we're going to select resize to fit. We're gonna select width and height and make sure you tick this don't enlarge. If you don't tick don't enlarge, it's gonna change the cropping of your image, which we don't want. We're gonna change the width to 2160 and the height to 2160. So Instagram is going to compress your image into 1080. By setting it at 2160, it gives us the best chance of keeping the most quality when Instagram compresses our image. We're gonna change the resolution to 72 pixels per inch, and then output sharpening. I want you to select this, and I want you to select for screen, and make sure the amount is set to standard. Now we're ready to export our image, so you can click on export. Now your file is ready to upload to Instagram. If you want to save this export setting, you can head back in here, and once you've got all of your settings set, like I've shown you, all you need to do is click add, and then you can name your preset. We've named ours Instagram preset, and it will be set on the side here. So next time you want to export, you just select your Instagram preset, and all the hard work is done for you, and it saves you so much time. If you like this video and you like creating content for Instagram just like we do, make sure you smash that like button. If you have any questions or queries about the export settings that I've shown you in this video, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.